we make the synthesis on the uh, existing systems. So first condition, clean environment. We said uh, no pollution outside, no factories, no highways, no industrial agriculture around very close to your apiary, at least a couple of kilometers should be. And also from your own garden, if you have some people, some farmers, they have uh, uh, like pigs or many cows or something which creates uh, bad smells. Uh, even chicken can be with bad smell. So they should be far away from the apiary and from the beehive air house. So clean apiary too, which means uh, uh, not to use in the apiary materials which can, can uh, release uh, uh, toxic or bad uh, volatiles and uh, no paints and so on and so on, chemical paints. Then uh, the beekeeper itself should have a clean beekeeping tools, ideally sterile tools when they work with the bees. So this is the also main condition for the medicinal beekeeping. So because you do not need to leave bacteria or spores and so on inside the, uh, the colony. Then clean, healthy and well educated in beehive air therapy beekeepers. So we need to make a lot of courses on, on beehive air therapy and webinars and uh, workshops and so on to discuss all these details. Um, it's important here to be healthy. Here is an interesting issue. If the beekeeper or the person who is providing beehive air therapy is not healthy, uh, they can get disease from the patients. The, there is uh, because of the stress, because of some uh, contamination with some microbes or viruses sometime. Um, for example, we can use behavior therapy. Uh, Beate will show us uh, tomorrow, including in COVID, after COVID, but some viruses may still be there. So the beekeeper must be very strong, very healthy to, to show, to, to radiate health and uh, light and uh, happiness. Then uh, uh, the colonies themselves must be clean healthy, so no varroa, no diarrhea, no, no semosis, uh, no chalk brood, and so on and so on. So clean, healthy, rich in volatiles, okay? So we have a lot of propolis, beeswax, uh, larvae, honey, and so on and so on. Uh, so several, um, several um, um, how do you call this, like magazines, like uh, levels, several levels of the beehive is better. So higher volume of the bee hive, better for the volatiles. And of course, powerful bee colonies because they must be powerful, but also calm. Uh, uh, even if we work very, very gentle with the bees in this system, we disturb them more or less because we enter into the room, we put the device. So there are some noises. We also speak when we explain to the patients. So we need to be very calm, but also the bees must be calm. Then uh, the uh, extractor devices must be very clean. So clean high air extractor devices, ideally medically licensed. Clean sterile tubes and masks. So the patient set that cannot be used on other patients. Okay, and that explained about this. Okay, and then we need here a detailed diagnostic of the patient at all levels, physical, material, energetical, functional, psycho-emotional. And we'll speak about this uh, in more detail tomorrow. And uh, about these diagnostics, just short, it best is to get the diagnostics. So not only one diagnostic, for example, the patient has hay fever, rhinitis allergica, which is okay, but we need much more uh, details on the patient itself because we treat patients, not diseases. This is one of the important uh, elements in the integrative, integrative or holistic or complementary medicine. So we need a team of different doctors specialized in Ayurveda, acupuncture, um, several specialties like uh, pneumology and so on and so on. Then we need to follow up the health status of the patient as often as possible, even after the therapy. So we do the therapy, 10 sessions, 20 sessions, 30 sessions. The patients get better usually, but we need to make a follow up because sometimes the patient comes back to their bad habits, like bad uh, nutrition or bad lifestyle. So like they start again to eat uh, like McDonald's or to drink uh, Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola or fast food and so on. 
so the disease of course will come back so you need to make uh, important changes in their nutrition lifestyle to have a long uh, long term uh, efficacy okay then uh, making a database and we'll speak tomorrow about this about the uh, evolution of all our patients to be able to get also statistically relevant data so you need to get as much as possible information from all your customers and please share this information with our group in our whatsapp group behavior therapy group because we will gather information from all continents from africa asia europe south america north america and we will uh, uh, analyze all this data to come with good conclusions for all of us and now some images about the devices we saw uh, some of them before but let's let's take them one by one so this system it has the big advantage that you can put on top of the the frames you can put some other extra grids and you can put like meshes extra mesh and then you can put here propolis or pollen so uh, or even uh, herbs which are aromatic or you can put some uh, drops of uh, essential oils okay so but the disadvantage in the system is that the ventilator the the absorber of the air it's a bit far away it's a bit complicated to work with this one now this one it's a, uh, another system it's very good because it has this pyramidal form it can cover all the area you can get the air slowly from all over the the in between the frames and um, uh, it's here even you do not need a ventilator if you want to, because the air comes slowly like this and if the patient has no uh, really bad disease like it's not a problem with the nose or the bronchitis or asthma there is some other uh, issue which is not related to a big need of air the the people can just breathe with the tubes through this system okay the disadvantage uh, disadvantage of the system is that uh, uh, it, it's okay for this form of the hive like this quadratic form but will not go for the rectangular form, which is larger, for example, or for the um, top bar hives in Kenya or for Langstroth or for other systems like Slovenian system. So uh, uh, advantages and disadvantages. Here the system from Mr. Engineer um, Martinescu, Adrian, who is now, by the way, that is he's uh, living in uh, UK. So he came with this fantastic idea. He was the first one with the idea to make a pyramid. So this pyramid you can put on top of the hive. Here is the, uh, the exit, if you want, of the warm air, which comes on the top of the pyramid, of course. Um, the disadvantage, ventilator a bit far away, and the system cannot be applied so well on various types of uh, uh, beehives. Now, some, some other images here on this system with passive breathing of beehive air. So if the patient really does not have big problems like rhinitis uh, or like asthma, bronchitis, acute bronchitis and so on, they just need a bit of relaxation, they need uh, uh, well-being, uh, then it's okay to use a similar system. And then you can have here uh, like observator, uh, observational hives, and you can have a lot of uh, bee frames, uh, honeycombs and so on in the room. So this, this can be also done, but again, not on top of the beehives, because this disturbs the bees. Um, keep it always in mind that in order to have happy customers, we need happy bees. So uh, or we, we need always to start our thinking from the bees. What needs the bees to be happy? And then we fulfill all their conditions, and then we go to what needs the human beings to be happy so and we try to make both parts happy here is one system from uh, from barcelona near barcelona uh, from one of uh, my good friends and students in apitherapy samuel ramal and he will speak tomorrow hopefully in our conference to to explain his uh, his um, experience you see these very nice windows it's very nice for the view the beehives is here the bees go through this uh, out, uh, out uh, small window out there but uh, i don't know how it's here maybe someone will tell us later but it looks like you cannot open so well oh no no this is uh, opening also you can open here the windows i see here now the system the idea is 
to be able, uh, like also Beate said, to get rid of the bees. Sometimes the bees comes inside and uh, you, you need to, to get rid of the bees outside. So because if the patient has some allergies like bee venom allergies, uh, you of course do not want to have uh, risks. And uh, the other disadvantage again here, Samuel was using, in the, it was this photo, this small device for extraction of beehive air. And this is not enough to get uh, homogeneous air from the colony. And also on top, it makes vibrations. So it disturbs the colony, which is here below. And the tube is not medically approved. The mask is not so nice, but the concept, the house is very, very nice. So here, you are here like in front of a Boeing 747 or a Airbus 380 and looking to the nature. Here is a, a few last photos and then we go to the discussions. You see here, it's a big, big house from Ukraine. And here inside, this is one of the system like the old system I told you quickly in like 1920 last century, they used this system. Like you have one room for the bees and you can have here, let's say 50, 60, 70 uh, bees for the overwintering and so on. And uh, as many bees as you can in your area. And here you have the bedroom, okay? And uh, this, uh, this wall here, the disadvantage is here. Uh, I do not see that you can open very easy. It should be like a Japanese system. Like you, you move it very easy. You close or you open as you need it. Okay, and here another thing is now, okay, it's very nice, it looks touristically, but this kind of, um, how do you call this uh, carpet here down, uh, it attracts a lot of dust and the microbes and so on. So it should be more or less like in a hospital if you want, uh, for the patients must be very clean environment and as sterile as possible. But the idea of getting passive air, it's also very good. You know, this system, uh, like it was in the beginning in Austria, the ventilator was here down. Then uh, uh, next step was to put the ventilator on top of the hive. But as we said, uh, uh, this one, it's a small area, small volume, like, like uh, the opening here is small. And then it's the tube is not medically approved that on the tube can, uh, one can get condensation of water and then mold can come because the tube is cold, here is warm. Here is uh, 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 warm in the body of the patient, but the temperature in the room is, let's say 25 degrees Celsius. So because of this difference in temperature here, 35, here 25, in time, this tube will, will get mold and will be not so good. If you give it like a patient said, it may be more or less acceptable. But again, the, the ventilation here and the vibrations of this device will disturb sooner or later the colony. You know, the system which you already saw and we'll see also later tomorrow, some ideas and Mr. Jürgen Schmidt can with us now. He can explain more technical details. This is uh, uh, for the time being the, the best system I personally know. And many people having this system in several countries, uh, the owners of the systems, they are changing the old system with the big Gura system. So here vibrations are much more diminished. The tube is warmed. So it's like here is 37, 35 degrees Celsius inside, inside the big colony 35. The tube is warm to 35, 36, let's say, and the patient has also inside 36, 37. So the temperature of the air, it's the same on all this way to the patient. So no risk of condensations, no vibrations, large enough volume, and also the capacity to, to put this one on many different types of beehives like rectangular, small, uh, large, uh, and so on and so on. Okay, so you see, I have also, I received a photo from Colombia. It's a system here for a patient, uh, uh, better than the old system, like this one with a small area connection with the hive. It's, this is larger, but see here, uh, uh, the, the tube here, uh, I know that the therapist is using an oxygen tube here is not the, the, for the behavior system. Okay, good. And then this system, uh, and I, I salute here, uh, my friend, uh, uh, Peter Heinrich, it's high practical and chiropractic doctor in Germany. And he, uh, now here you see the, again, the Bikura system, relaxation windows can be open easily and you can, it's very clean environment, so you can use it very well. 
Okay, so this was the short presentation.